Okay. I hate when the menu moves. It's so. Ugh. What is going to play more? Okay. Now we can start playing. Let's start go. These blueprints can be found by exploring the world. They are kept in specific chests. They unlock precious items and best ship upgrades. Be sure to get them all. Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Yeah. Firewood, at least. <laughs> Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Like that? Let's head back. <clears throat> Come on, Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are, but this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Come on. Come on. Controls are still as weird as ever. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you in case you fall down and hurt yourself. I'm just beating your ass at it. Best not keep Chevalier waiting. I'm so sick, Rita. What's up? The space that. Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph? Couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? <laughs> it is Captain Louis Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? That's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Should have seen I that will one coming. teach you some manners, boy. Should have seen that one coming. Uh, I will teach you some manners, boy. I will teach you some manners, boy. Hell. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. 
Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. They have your blades. Take these. You'll need them. Hang on, it's still too loud. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Louis Joseph Gautier, Chevalier de la Verendrie. Born 1717. Was born to a family of explorers in Ulle Vosch in France. In 1735, went to, on his first expedition with his father to Fort St. Charles on the Lake of the Woods. A year later, he re established Fort Merupin. He was awarded with the title of Chevalier Knight from his father, who passed over Louis Joseph's older brother to do so. He spent the next four years exploring North Dakota and Manitoba. In 1744, De La Verendrie became a frontier post commander for the French government. It was around this time that he met Achilles and Liam O'Brien Liam O'Brien and helped him complete an assassin mission. In 1746, Achilles asked De La Verendrie to join him and offer was gladly accepted. De La Verendrie lost his father in 1749 and further explorations westward were disrupted by politics. Later that same year he met Sheikh Cormac for the first time and took an instant dislike to him. In 1752, De La Verendrie returned to fur trading but business did not go well for him. Liam O'Brien, born 1726. Hang on. Excuse me. Uh, Liam O'Brien was born in Plymouth, Massachusetts, to Irish immigrants. After years of struggling to survive on a farm, the family moved to New York, where his father began to work for a rich merchant loading ships bound for England. Liam eventually joined him and it was there he first met a young boy named Shay Cormac who was visiting his father in the Merchant Marine. The two boys became friends and Liam looked after the younger boy who lived in a rough neighborhood and was showing a talent for getting into trouble. As Liam continued to work he was shocked to learn that despite all the profits made by their employer, the employees remained underpaid and mistreated. Tensions rose between the two sides. In 1736, Liam recruited a few of his young co-workers to begin robbing their employer. However, he was caught and was forced to kill a man in self-defense. In order to protect his son, his father took the blame for the murder and was executed by the authorities. Lost, Liam drifted from one job to the next, distancing himself from everyone he knew, including his friend, young friend Shay. He kept on robbing New York's richer citizens so he could send money to his mother, whom he was too ashamed to face. In 1738, he met Achilles, who began to give him small tasks to perform, such as delivering messages to Volastokovic, a man named Kesaguasa, in the frontier. Achilles' influence grew on him, he began to look up to the man who finally managed to teach him about right and wrong, and eventually the assassins under Achilles. In 1743, Liam became Achilles' first mentee, and quickly learned from him. Liam helped Achilles recruit the remainder of his colonial brotherhood, Chevalier de la Verendrie, Craig Osawasa, and Hope. In 1748, Liam found his childhood friend Shay, whose life was shattered after his father died at sea. Liam helped him get back on his feet, and the two became inseparable. Later that year, Liam introduced Shay to Achilles, and it wasn't long before his young friend joined the assassins. Liam was tasked to keep an eye on the latest recruit. Yeah, so this is slightly before, before Assassin's Creed 3. I mean, Ready to teach him a lesson? Oh they my don't god. Stand a chance. The screen is Where still are shaking. Now, you build rat. Not bad. The screen is still shaking. Kill all British girls. Before I bash out your brains! We will find them and let them bury what's left of you. There he goes again. Thank you. You 
that. I can't have all of them. Anything interesting? Yeah, the screen is still shaking, also oh, very bad. Um, why are you a map? You are not a map. Is this a map? Fortune's favor. North Atlantic 591-347. Collect a map. Oh, many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. Happy hunting, lads! Set her ablaze! Seek that French vessel! She's no match for you! Ha <laughs> Yeah! The Morrigan. Can't you? I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, she. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. Uh, this pile of mad. Mad. You want her, she? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. Sir, yes, sir. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, she. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued. Jolly Roving Tower, don't forget your old shipments. Bold Riley O, New York Girls, Paddy Lay Back, Rolling Down the Old Maui, Windy Old Weather. What's in the e manual? Yeah, I know how to play this thing. Add friends to compare stats. <laughs> Most feared the privateers. My rank.
most prosperous, deadliest. They join us. They should have a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood shape. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, God. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. Hold, right click to aim and move, then that's the shit. Yeah. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shay. Yes. The Morgan was an old goddess, the queen of war and darkness. She harvested the souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. Let's pick it up then. A ship! Since I fought Shen, they will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, men! What am I looking at? Fire! <laughs> Stop them, boy! Walking on it. Fire! My ship! Loaded, Captain! It seems this vessel is battle ready after all. I will return to what is left of the gift for. It's a long way home. We have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. No, Chevalier is pleased with us. <laughs> Fail away, lads. Fail away. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. Hmm. Don't pull me out. Don't pull me out. Just stop it. What the hell did you do? It's... it's some kind of dormant virus? Shit! Hang on, I'm getting you out of there! <sighs> Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Oh, yeah? Any of this ringing a bell. Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? <laughs> here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. What Follow happened? me. Double time. What happened? This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Everyone. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay positive. Melanie? What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Miss LeMay? 
Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Miss Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! <laughs> Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only Ooh, fair let the virus out. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie? The elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. What's this? Tablet document one. To Robert Frazier, C.C. Aiden Sinclair, Victoria Bibu, for Melanie LeMay, 18th of, Janu of June, 2014. Arnold Dorian. Hey Robert, you came highly recommend you come highly recommended and I'm thrilled to have you in our studio. I'm putting you to work on a special project for me. The subject is Arnold Dorian. His story takes place during the French Revolution. I want you to explore every avenue of his life that you can. The goal is to have a new blockbuster to present to Abstergo Brass next year. As such, this is super classified. Your direct supervisor will be Aiden Sinclair, CC. You can only discuss the project with Aiden or myself. I shall probably be logging some overtime in your animus. I've added a mandatory weekly meeting with our psychiatrist, Dr. Bipur, CC, to make sure you're not suffering from any bleeding effects. Welcome to Abstergo Entertainment. Don't let me down. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shea Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Okay. I'll do it by myself. Hello. Damn, you're heavily armored. Far Cry 3. Into Cell Blacklist. Some kind of Assassin's Creed collection. Blacklist. Far Cry 3. More Ubisoft. Come on, numbskull. Wait, there's a thing here. To Christina Uric, Melanie LeMay, 1st of August 2014, Heavily in the Grand Prix. I'd like to explore the possibility of follow-up to liberation. We found some footage of Evelyn's activities in New England, and it seems clear that she was still very active later in life. Ideally, I'd like a sequel to liberation or some kind of follow-up, but I understand it's going to take some resources that we won't have right now. Quick fix option is to reuse existing assets and take a more family-friendly angle on the story. From a scrappy servant to a woman of dignity and poise, experience the heartwarming 18th century tale of a young Creole woman as she struggles to find her long-lost mother and heal the wounds of separation forever. Additionally, the liberation of Lady Evelyn might open up some revenue for women, which is a demographic I think we have been ignoring for too long. Keep calling me numbskull. Oh my god, the camera is shaking so much! Blacklist... Future Soldier! Ah, uh, Future Soldier! Cool! I have dogs at home that are better trained than you are. Shut up, I'm looking around. To Jean-Francois Brunet, from Elena LeMay, 17th of August 2014, subject Lorena Torres. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say this politely, so please don't think is, if this is anything personal or a reflection of you or your work. You're a star. But I think doing an entire virtual feature about Lorena Torres is the single most boring pitch that's ever come across my desk. Sorry. Uh, 
Ugh, I hate this camera. I hate it so much. Do you see a flashing wireless signal? Yes. Great. That means you can still access systems. Go ahead and patch me into their feed. Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Um, select ring. Ring rotation. Good job. Oh, uh, okay. It wasn't too complex. But rebooting the advanced hardware in the rest of the building will require more work. New mini games. The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. Mm -hmm. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Al Tair ibn Lahad. To eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. That's where you have to go. Both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al Mualim not been killed by Al Tair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Al Tair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. Hmm. Uh, okay. So, I'm not sure you're supposed to see that. Just, uh, you should just get back to your animus. <sighs> With the servers back online, you could, in theory, restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, feel like being sneaky. Hashtag, why not both? Hey, one of your co-workers dropped his communicator by the elevator. If you see any tech lying around like that, grab him. There might be a clue as to who did this. Now that you have unlocked Shea Cormac's memories, we stand on the brink of a grand discovery. I know you must have questions about your new assignment, or about me. For oh, you? Yeah. All I will say is that Shea's story contains the answers. Shea will lead you to a greater understanding. To Ajay Rana from Melanie LeMay, 24th of August 2014, Vija AI. Hello Ajay, it's looking like we'll be able to use Animus Tech to create a digital version of Monima Das to finish production of Vija AI. My condolences again for your, to your resilient cast and crew. Nothing else will be able to give Monima the glamorous send off she deserves. When it's done, I'd like to talk about using my sword tech to remaster other traditional forms of entertainment, concerts or sporting events, for example, into fully immersive animus experiences. Nice find. If it was me, I'd snoop to see if there's any juicy stuff on it, but I might be a terrible person. <laughs> okay. I like you. So, uh, we're using the same assets, huh? Oh well. Okay... sure I'm understanding what's going on.
Um. On, off, on, off, on. On, off, on, on. What if I spin this one down? Then I spin this one up. Yeah, a split of splits, I get it. Maybe this will work? Yes! Okay, the numbskull is in another animus session, and I have acquired caffeine. All is right with the world. Good. This isn't really your kind of mission, is it, boss? Every mission is important in its own way. Still, I bet you'd rather be out with the rest of the team. Hunting Sean Hastings. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Hell yeah. I want a front row seat for that show. Any word from Sorkin? He's scheduled to update me in 43 minutes. Good. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's it like using an animus? I went through the Animai training program. It felt like the drills we used to do in the UT Yeda. You never use a normal animus like this one? To relive your own genetic history? Only once. Really? Who were you? I was a young man. On the Viking raid on Lindsay Farm. 793 northeastern coast of England. Sorry. History nerd. So, how was it? It was summer. Good sailing weather. The monastery was a center for religious studies. And we crashed into the city like a tidal wave. That's Valhalla. That's Valhalla right there. And? And? We pillaged and burned. They thought we were demons. The details of the memory were so vivid. I lost myself in the bloodlust. I defeated a Saxon, a great warrior, but did not want to kill him. I invited him to join our clan. Ooh. Ah, Norse adoption rituals. The chance to sail the world with the Vikings. Yes. A chance to see the world as it really is. What happened then? He wept. Then he cried out that God had abandoned his people and that nothing remained but chaos. I felt such a pity for him. I killed him without a second thought. Oof. After we're done here, are we gonna have to kill the numbskull? We will see. Okay. Fun. Well, his office is blocked. Shay, Liam, what's his face? There's another computer. Uh, that's a refractor. from Germany? Yes, I am in Essen, searching for an artifact called the Ankh of Isis. Can you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. Okay. Not much. There's no 
obscure file from the data dump scanner that mentions it. It was allegedly 14th century Germany, where an assassin named Lucas Zergberg bought a Templar offshoot called the Brothers of the Cross. <laughs> How original. <laughs> That's the file that led me to this bland shit pile. Is there anything else? Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history. From Roman Gallia, Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh. And it apparently raises the dead. Of course it does. Any evidence to support this? None at all. You know what I think? I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around, so <laughs> we waste our valuable time sniffing after it. it. Smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. I'm going to excavate the observatory. Oh, shit. <laughs> Anything else in the office right now? Oh, plenty. All behind locked doors. Wait. Hang on. Well, these offices over there. This is locked security level one. This is busted. This is not busted. Transparent. You know what, I like this puzzle, it's not too difficult. Still require some thoughts. Haytham Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite, charged with finding a precursor site. Haytham was cunning and ruthless, but he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Yeah, what happened to Edward? Haytham eventually learned that his father Edward had been an assassin. That he chose to stay a Templar rather than follow in his father's footsteps indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy. Nope. Should be able to access not this one, but this one. We got one refractor and one splitter, and I can choose which one to use. I need the splitter. Great Purge. He trained several agents who infiltrated Abstergo, including Clay Kazmarek and Lucy Stillman. Lucy Stillman. In late 2012, I captured William Miles in Cairo and delivered him to Warren Middick in Rome. Miles' son, Desmond, attacked Abstergo, killed Middick and Master Templar Daniel Cross. He fled to a first civilization temple in New York. On December 21st, Desmond Miles was killed inside the 
precursor structure. Yeah, we know all this. The grieving William Miles went underground and left the Brotherhood in the hands of Gavin Banks. Banks led a small team across the globe, attempting to rebuild assassin cells. We have confirmed sightings in Kyoto, Moscow, and Paris. <laughs> Miles resurfaced in late 2013, and we have confirmed his involvement in the infiltration of Abstergo Entertainment Montreal by the assassins Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane. Both. Both Miles and Banks remain at large. Agent Acosta has tasked the Akashic Satellite Plexus. Akashic Satellite. Traces of assassin activities. We have yet to locate them. What is an Akashic Satellite? You don't know, Akashic is a term at least from D&D lore and stuff like that. Uh, or Pathfinder. And it means of all knowledge. Okay, let's get back to my station because that's all I'm gonna do right now. Let's free, liberation, black flag. The real thing. I don't know these guys. Hiding gloves? Okay, let's go. Did I do that? Davenport Homestead. <laughs> It has been a long time. Not the same actor. Achilles. Adewale. How go Adewale. things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. This is the same actor. Your countenance Adi. tells me we should discuss this. Come. <clears throat> Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. Who's a slave who freed himself. And hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the creed. Mm-hmm. See? It's something Join me for some practice. Soon. I've got uh, other business first. What other business do you have? Tell me what happened, old friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this. But did Mackendall's man complete his task before the earthquake hit? I cannot know. Von Rudy has not been found. He was a strong maroon, one of Mackendall's best students. Such a shame. So we cannot know if he found the site. Indeed. But if there was a temple under the waves, I doubt it is still standing. And the artifacts that showed the way? Stolen. The Templars broke in during the chaos. They see... Hang on a minute. Precursor box. I gave chase on the sea but lost their trail when they reached New York. We must consider what to do next. Not considering it right now? Okay. Then I'll keep going. Lock bombs. Worried earlier. I heard that Liam's waiting for you. Seen him yet? I hear Mistress Hope was looking for you.
Why is the camera still shaking so much? You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase. And we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. <laughs> I like him. That's from Hope, Liam, or Kasagawasa. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Look at Shoot these targets. targets. You can take your time, but not too much. With more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Um. Come on, hurry up. Time's running out. Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, so they'll never show it. Oh, let's talk. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What will we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Kill from above. Remain undetected. Can you kill without being noticed? Kill was sprinting, killing from above. Top form, Shay. You certainly know how to handle yourself. Take the high ground, Shay. Dispatching from the air is most effective. I'm surprised. You certainly know how to handle yourself. Hmm? You did better than I expected. Have really... your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. You talk very weirdly. <laughs> and Kasagawas is gonna teach me rope darts. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. Um, I think I've been managing complying. well enough so far. Complying. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. Okay, can I can I follow? Well done. Oh, who's gonna teach me hunting? Kasagawase, born 1713. Kasagawase was born in 
Volato Creek territory in what is now New Brunswick. Until his teen, he lived in a walled village surrounded by farm fields where he practiced hunting, fishing, and various survival skills. As European hostilities grew, Kasegawase joined other men from his village as mercenaries helping the French army. In 1746, he met Achilles and Liam O'Brien, who were working with the French army on behalf of the assassins. They were impressed with his prowess and determination and invited him to join the Brotherhood. In 1749, he met Shea Cormac and became one of his instructors. This is a brig. This is a gunboat. Just so you know. I was just gonna be running, this is the whole thing. It is time for the hunt. Of course. Use all your senses together to find prey. It's a tree! Don't scare it. Killing should not be meaningless. We must use what nature gives us. Good. Now to use what you have taken from nature. Curved pistol holsters. Air pelt, Arctic hare, Canadian lynx, killer whale, grey wolf, black wolf, narwhal. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. What are the targets? Okay. Oh my god, the shaking is so bad. Whoa, this place is... Dusty as hell. What? What the hell? Oh, this does no loading screen. That's an improvement. He's going to teach about running a business. I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Cool. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. What's with the pendant thing? What? I did complete it in less than 40 seconds. What the hell? That's why I don't go full completionist on Assassin's Creed, because it's so stupid. Okay. Hope Jensen. Born 1732. Hope was born in New York City to a mother's family, but was placed in an orphanage after her parents died. She was adopted by a German couple who hoped to build new life for themselves in the colonies. They symbolized their des this desire in the name of the adopted daughter, Hope. Bath City. <laughs> Years of hard work finally paid off for Hope's father, whose saw his business endeavors turn great profits. 
and the family rubbed elbows with New York's elite. But despite their wealth and best efforts to fit in, they are never truly accepted in New York's finer circles. Hope received a good education from private tutors and gradually realized that the world was unfair. In 1742, Hope's 1942, she was 10. Hope's adopted father disappeared under mysterious circumstances, never to be seen again. Later that same year, her father's former business partners took control of the family business, leaving her adopted mother with nothing. Hope and her mother were destitute, forced to live in the streets. Hope's mother died after a long and painful disease, despite Hope's best efforts to stealing food and medicine. Hope vowed never to depend on anyone ever again. Fun fact, life's not fair, but I gotta admire this girl's hustle. In 1746, when she was 14, Hope met Achilles, who was impressed by her survival instincts, pickpocketing skills, and strength of will. She was inducted into the Brotherhood a year later. Achilles ordered her to set up a network in New York City, and before long, Hope controlled most of New York's organized crime. Adewale, born 1692. Born to enslaved parents in Trinidad, Adewale was sold to the owner of a prosperous plantation before his teens. He escaped by joining a group of buccaneers who raided the plantation. Addy sailed with this group of men for many years, honing his skills as a sailor. In 1715, he was captured by Spanish authorities who decided to send Andewale to Spain, loaded him into one of the galleons that made up the perennial treasure fleet. Thanks to a hurricane, as well as a young Welsh pirate named Edward Kenway, Addy escaped, freeing more prisoners along the way. Addy and Edward commandeered a brigantine and sent set sail just in time to beat the worst of the storm. When the hurricane passed, Addy was free once more. Addy became the quartermaster aboard Captain Kenway's ship, the Jackdaw. Operating out of Nassau for a time, they grew wealthy of their spoils and lived the lives they had always dreamed of. But Addy was a man who valued the democratic ideals of this pirate community far above the spoils they acquired while living it. Living it. And as he saw Edward Kenway fall deeper into a spiral of selfish greed and pointless glory, he wondered if there was, wasn't a more noble cause he might adopt to suit his ideals. In 1716, Eddie first encountered the assassins in Tulum. He returned in 1719, where he spoke with their mentor Atabai and asked him many questions about their brotherhood. After hearing answers that pleased him greatly, Eddie joined them. For the next 15 years, Adewale faithfully served the assassins, but in time he became increasingly troubled by memories of his past. In 1735, Eddie's ship was caught in a storm and he washed ashore near Port-au-Prince. There he met Bastien Josephe and Augustine Dufour, whose passion drew him to the Maroon cause. In the following years, he used his skills to help rebuild the Maroon resistance in Port-au-Prince. He fled St. Dominique in 1737 after killing the governor Pierre, Marquis de Fayette, and returned to the assassins. Achilles, born circa 1710, died 1781. Achilles was born of Caribbean and British descent in the West Indies. In the mid-1730s, he was the last assassin to be recruited into the Brotherhood by its legendary mentor Atabai. When his training was complete, Achilles was sent north to establish a Brotherhood in the American colonies. Achilles married a woman named Abigail and they had a son, Connor. Achilles established a homestead where his Brotherhood could settle before expanding throughout the frontier. He recruited several promising colonials, including Liam O'Brien, Chevalier Louis Giuseppe Gautier de la Verendrie, Casagawasse, Hope Jensen, and finally Shea Cormac of the Brotherhood. Achilles strengthened the, the ties between the Brotherhood and the nations of the Iroquois Confederacy, particularly the Kanekaka. And that's it. Nothing about the later life. I know how to do a leap of faith. Hi. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam. It's not like you to set out without a plan. A plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Let's. Halifax, April 7th, Royal Studs! Hmm. We only have one lead, Shane. 
Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. Yeah, Sir well, Keeley's tasked me with this mission. No. He tasked me to task you. <laughs> you need to find what was stolen from Mac and Dalche. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? But watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. I do this for him. For us. He'll do much more than earn his trust. Liam, do you oh? know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts. Studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam, you can be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Hang on, there's a thing here. Yeah. Progress further? Yeah. What the hell do you mean, progress further? Move. No? But it's... It's... All the way up down. That was some climb. We've got deer, we've got beaver. James Gunn Cross War Letter I'm getting the uh, the <sighs> fragment and I will not be denied. Where is the metal? That's that's the thing. The clock. Thirteen forty eight Monsieur Diabadi. Imagine you have questions about how it is you are no longer a prisoner of the British Empire. As you are deeply stupid, let me explain it to you. Officially your release is a minor footnote in the Treaty of Ix la Chapelle. Unofficially, I freed you. You are at best unremarkable and at worst irrelevant, not only to your country but to the history of the human race. Either way, you belong to me now. I am something of a businessman and I have need of someone unremarkable. You will soon be granted a position in the naval bureaucracy and I will make use of what passes for your administrative skills. They certainly surpass your skills as a naval officer. To begin, you will be my eyes and ears. Small jobs for small pay. In time, you will speak with my voice and your rewards will also get louder. I do not expect you to understand at present. All you need to know is this. You serve a noble purpose and a grand master. Huh. That's cargo, I presume.
Interesting. Halt! He just stood up and looked at me. I guess what I need to do. Okay, don't walk on files. Got it. Templar cross, mark stone. and progress further. Connors is favored, and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. <laughs> you call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. In his tail. Time now, old skipper, to hoist up your sail. In the windy old weather, stormy old weather, when the wind blows, we'll all fall together. <laughs> and up jumps a slip sole as strong as a horse. Says now, old skipper, you're miles off course. In the windy old weather, stormy old weather, when the wind blows, we'll all fall together. Then along comes a place, he oh, no, spots that's on that's his that's side. That's Almost longer the seas you can go on in the windy old weather, stormy old weather. When the wind blows, we'll all fall together. Then up breeze at Conger as long as a mile. The wind's coming easily, he says with a smile. In the windy old weather, stormy old weather. Holding cargo! When the wind blows, we'll all fall together. I think once at 
Nice. How big is the map? Oh, it's not as big as Assassin's as Black Flag, but it is kind of big. Not small, it's about half or a third of Assassin's and Black Flag. He's off the wind! Blacker! Oh, come on! I'm wet. Oh, the joy. I think of Sailor Soldier's Fire. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the ton in France. Ah, the cabbage farmers return. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. Hey. It's fine. We keep it clean. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adewale was already a Lijan before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirat. A scourge of the West Indies, rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers and Calico Jack Racker. Calico who? <laughs> oh, read that book, will you? About 20 years ago, Adewali intercepted a Templar convoy and stole a mysterious package. He traveled to Port-au-Prince. I know about spyglasses. Thank you. And entrusted it to a woman he believed was loyal to our cause. Is that fighting, lad? Fighting that down. There, Captain! An English vessel, and she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look for your spyglass and see for yourself. Pretty sight. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls and all spoils. We can board and loot her before the crew knows what hit them. Whoa, whoa, what? It just sank? I barely did anything. She was at almost full health. Um... Now what? Can I take any schooner? There's another schooner. Crowd on every inch of sail. Who's tops and royals? They're using the same phases. It's a civilian something. Schooner. Schooner.
Tamam, Nurat. When the ship is on fire, it becomes incapacitated. Yeah. Captain, hold your fire! Show them what's going on! There's the time! Next order! Man. The spires it, are it ours! It died so again. fast. I don't have buckle guns yet. Too far away. We're in close. Cool, let's repair the Morgan. No fleet management this time. Brace for impact! Now, the sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We'll spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Asa Macandal is their mentor. He got as many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But... This is a French colony now. Oh, it is. And here, assassins are helping King Louis. But in Haiti... French own the slaves who are set free by the assassins. Tough boarding procedures. Sure, let's do it. Whoa, it's freezing! <laughs> Same moveset too. Salvage. I need the money. See between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbor master station nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He got as many of his assassins from the Maroons. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. Our locals are caught in the middle. What do I dock? Danger's behind us. Haul in the studsails! Trip 
drive us off the wind. Anchor away. Okay, before we go there, there's a diamond. Prosperity. General store is locked. <laughs> the snow pile. Do you have bullets? There's a chest over there. No? Damn, it's still so loud. Yo, come here. Don't I have anything to throw? There's a chest over here. The other one is down there. Come on, man. Another harbor vessel. Tavern. And shanty. I want that shanty. Qu'est-ce que je peux faire de plus que ce que j'ai déjà fait? 
J'aimerais bien qu'il se dépêche de prendre ma mutation à Pourquoi diantre veux-tu aller là-bas Mon cousin il peut What's the other guy? Ah ouais, c'est toujours maintenant. Je sens en sécurité. Nous sommes loin de toute civilisation. Mmh mmh Free the hostages without being detected. I shall be forever grateful to you, sir. Yes, you should. Well, is it? Just did that. Let's go beat up some people. Now brave boys are on the march. Off to Portugal and Spain. Yeah, we are, sir. They're beating them by the spine. The devil at home will come to us. Love very well. Give me my portrait. Tura de Rulu de Lé. With a Tura de Rulu de Lé. Hearing Paul Tura de Lé. Though there's a ski in the dark. It's unlocked anyway. Wait, Harbour Master is here. Yes, ship upgrades. Upgrade cannons what and hull. What service can I provide you? Tobacco. Whoa! When did I get all that? Stone. Used to renovate buildings. Plus, it's required to upgrade sail. What is required for structural upgrades? Okay. Upgrade the hull. Upgrade broadsides. Upgrade front cannons. Hmm. Give me a buckle gun. Uh, 
and harpooning. Fine, if that's all I get. Can we skip this, please? My thanks for your trust, Captain. Okay, now I just need the last... Last chest. I have 5,000 pounds. I have a new cheat. Yeah, swimming in these waters is dangerous. Oof. Cold. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Well, okay. Mental is important. Yeah, travel speed. I'm trying not to hit any large icebergs. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Gunner, British. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats. They must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. These cowards must pay! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way to Anticosti. What say you? Sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Damn it! Take it here! Fire! Not in your souls! Damage here they come! Use you explosive shot to stop an escape! Turn! Turn! That thing. Take it here. Shoot this thing. Fire! Hold you closer. Those Wait, wait, wait. Fire! That's the last of them. Then let us go on. We're not too far from Anticosti Island now. Will your friend the spy be waiting for us? Yes. I hope the chasseur has more information about the manuscript. Maybe he'll have the whole thing figured out for us. And maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obvious Caesar! <laughs> New sail! Salt air, open skies. A man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Whoa! Well, what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The temper is to this continent like tar. Don't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they live it? Boot on your neck. We get shanties. The dead horse. Boot on your neck? Of course not. They're murdered bastards who want to control the world and everyone in it. Never forget. Come on, come on. Was the big one? What did I miss? Mm -hmm. 
Ça va, ça va. We have nothing in common with that, of course. Who's talks those gods and royals? Trim the yards off the wind. Stuntles in. Who are gallants? Crowded all on. Hey, see, as in Assassin's Creed. Whoa! There it is. Anticosti. Anticosti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. That's the royals, the tops. Hold them Lock in. the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Um, can we get a bit closer? Captain Cobbler's down! Catch some wind! Down's all sail! Take them all in! Get the mainsails into the wind! What's with all the shooting? Let's move! Free! Shirt on sail! Go on ahead, Shane. We will meet you at the fort. Atlantic. Oh, no, okay. Are you fucking kidding me? I guess not. Isn't this climbable?
Oh, my Beelzebub's balls! What happened to that wall? It looks like someone's got a cannon stick! in stone! I cannot fault you enough. You are a hero! take ages! Okay, back up. Um, ow. <laughs> God damn you, can't you climb a simple thing? a gem. What are you doing? Stop doing that. The gem. Paintings to discover the message, collect them all to piece one story. Okay. Mischief. The good spirit walked in the light, the evil spirit did mischief within the shadows. Oh, Billy Riley. Oh, Billy Riley. French explorer Jacques Cartier was the first European to discover Anticosti. In 1534, he originally named it Isle de Assomption, as well as declaring it a strange and cursed island. However, by the 17th century, it was referred to as Anticosti as in an attempt to mimic the name used by the indigenous people of the area. Although historically more of a hunting ground than anything else, the island was settled in 1680 when King Louis XIV of France handed it over to the explorer Louis Juliet. Julien, finding himself in possession of the largest privately owned island in the world, built a fort for his family there. Despite its size, Anticosti has never been a well populated island, likely due to its treacherous coastline. Fun fact over 400 ships wrecked themselves on the rocks and reefs surrounding the island, earning it the nickname the Cemetery of the Gulf. Anticosti became a territory of the British Empire as part of the Treaty of Paris then ended, that ended the Seven Years' War, and officially became part of the province of Quebec in 1867. Where is the metal? One more chest. Company. Master Gist, we are basically just sending letters out filled with the secret, secret plans and never praying they'll arrive safely. We need a front company or a series of companies to double as a communication network. 
Master Johnson in New York has recently been appointed as the Colonel of the Warriors of the Six Nations. Not only is he well established in the local trade, but his relationship with the Mohawk may well benefit us in the future. I suggest to begin throwing the overtures immediately. In the meantime, I, can, I plan on influencing my in-laws to create a trading company a little closer to home. May the Father of Understanding guide us. No, you can't climb that. And what's the freaking point? Climb the tree. What's with the sword in the ground? What is this? This is more like it. Viking swords. Oh. Oh. Wait, is that actual thing? I need to complete the Viking Salt Quest. A katana. Sure. What the hell? Still need to find another chest. Over here. So, Louis Joseph, how goes the fur trip? Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Wait, no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Is that? Okay. Where's my chest? What the hell are you doing? Yes, I know. Here I am. Sabotaging. A top is currently available. Trees? 
Yeah, it's in the tent. I need to kill him. Yeah, definitely time for you to die. Anticosti complete. The achievement is called owned for some reason. So what's in my captain's cabin? No fleet. Some cannons are in here, I don't know why. Salt set. What the hell are those shoes? Whose shoes are these? Cut to the chase. Oh, they c cost money here. Let's upgrade little by little, okay? The best look like... Scottish Broadsword? Or Hanger Sword? Or Kato Sword? English Infantry Sword? Ooh, that's nice, the governor's sword. Okay, let's start one by one, because it's fun. Wait, pistol sets? Can I buy more pistols? <clears throat> Apparel will use flintlock pistols, favored by pirates. The standard wheel lock. More range. Range and stun. Queen Anne. Start with this. Bed, very important. Ship. Can we get more damage out of the cannons? And coronaid. Round shot. Heavy shot. Give me some heavy shot. I want a puckle gun. Heavy shot store is currently holding 20. Crew quarters allows more cumin. Do it. Harpoon strength. I'll consider it first. More cannons. Eleven broadsides. Explosive shot. All right. Start with round shot strength. Yeah, and go with explosive strength because I want I want to take ships. Let's just kill them. And sure, more heavy shot. Yes, heavy shot. We skip that. Okay, thank you. We skip the sequence. Captain's trick. So what's our next headed? Wherever this Lawrence Washington docks is ours. Liam, you're finally getting into the spirit of things. He's a temper and a politician. What's there to like? Good. Hoist anchor. Oh, Where does the Chevalier way. get off ordering us around like that? We're assassins, same as him. 
He's more experienced and he knows these waters better, Shay. Yeah. That makes him in charge in these parts. Well, he commands me around back at the homestead, too. Is he a truffle pig to know land better than me? Show some respect, Shay. Yeah. He ought to respect me, Liam. I stick my neck out as much as any of us. Yeah, twice as often, it seems. But that's just the thing. Chevalier hangs back and thinks before making a decision. His experience has earned him that right. I wonder how much more experience I'll need before I can decide when to wake up or take action. I swear, Liam, sometimes I feel I was more grown up when we were children. <laughs> we slept rough and scrounged for meat, but at least we decided where and when. Brief the top sills and gallants. Okay, we've got a guy. We've got some cargo. We've got a chest somewhere. And we've got penguins! There shouldn't be penguins this way. Penguins are native to the Antarctic. Oh my god! Oh my god, what the hell? Where the hell did that come from? Loose all and trim sharp to the wind! Loose down! Oh, it's blindingly bright. Oh, I need to crash it with my ship. Thank you. Now let's see what's going on over there. That's ours. Brig Skunu. Damn, that's a goddamn fleet. Still have one more. Fire! 
bring them in. Come on, bring them in. Not that hard to cut the rope, man. Just a rope, man. You cut it with the sharp ends. Assassinations. That's nice. Okay, I'm taking your cargo and I need some repairs. Heavy shot, stone, cloth. That's not a lot. Brace yourselves! Get the maid free! Your peace with God. Get them. Yeah. Go, go, go. Damn it. Yeah, freezing water. Enemy kill streak. Salvage. Loose I think I can just salvage. Two. Loose on. Let's move. Yeah, I think Cormac is also not a very good character. Already starting to kind of annoy me. Crowded, Arlan! Sir! Stunzels! Let's catch the squall! There's the Garlots and Royals! I'll beat the bejesus out here. You'll ruin me! That's close enough. Carrying a lot of loot right now. Uh, I think the, the, the term requirements already also went down. Okay. Mates out! Let's go!
Reading, Rosanna. Fire! Sorry. Use explosive shot to slow her down. Come on. Fire. Thank you, Rotten. Shoot! Well, shoot them. What do you mean area oh, yeah, not available? Good morning. Nice to see you here. Hang on. Just taking this shift down. Whew. Yeah, plain road. Just started playing Assassin's Creed Rogue. It's a fine day, I guess. I have an interview in about an hour and a half. I'm a programmer, so. I'm not entirely sure what kind of interview it is. I think it's just a formal introductory one. Yeah, but I am saving this for posterity. So I, I am trying to accommodate an English audience, English speaking audience. Good, let's head for the main mission. Straight. As we were pissing the haze for all night, shooting and hauling and trolling all night in that windy old weather, stormy old weather. When the wind blows, it all pulls together. When up to the like sea, the queen of the sea says, Uh, River Valley? Loading, loading. <sighs> River Valley, July seventeen fifty two. She'll take it. Let's grab the chest. The French took over after it was ransacked by bandits. That was it. I said that was straight to land, Captain. Fall down and clue up. Anchor. Captain to sea.
One out of twelve uncharted ch chests. Yay! Eleven more to go. Ooh! Hello, everybody. Now we see how many. Okay. Um, this is where we land? Okay. Studs out! Let's get moving! Haul in the stud cells! Clue up! Clue up! Two bends. Okay, where are we headed? point. There has to be a sink point. Um, okay. How did you get here so fast? I hope. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington, businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. And don't do something. Don't do something stupid. Oh, we're just leaving. Nothing. No. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what's in the general store. Hi, Monty. Good morning. Be most welcome here, sir. Sell cargo. Tobacco is popular and expensive, sell it for a price. Yeah, that's the idea. I don't think I can... Sh I should sell stone or cloth right here, right now. Ammunition, bullets, fill me up. Rock bombs full. Outfits, not there yet. Buy hunting goods. They're goddamn expensive! Colonial American Cutlass. Too expensive. Standard wheel lock. Too expensive. A pleasure. See you next time. Five upgrades are available for the ship. What service can I provide you? Buy Morrigan upgrades. Ammo? Heavy shot. Fill up heavy shots. Morrigan upgrades. Armor. Broadside. Let's do broadside. Armor. I'm very decisive.
I hate it when they do that. It's such a long, unskippable thing for nothing. Doesn't even change the appearance of the ship very much. My thanks okay. for your trust, Captain. Let's go. Loose and cuts the wind. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Can I please focus? There. Oh. Aye. <laughs> there she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. It's a we lost track of him about a Navy. year ago. They're all alone, sir. I recently learned he was in Barbados. I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Enemy heading for us, sir! Convoy we're captain! Clear, British vessels! No, we're not engaging. Not engaging. A blockade, Captain! I just won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Track that package and find Washington. Great, I'm following a ship He's on land. Hauling all sail. Sub blockade. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. And remember, don't do anything stupid. Also, what are the bonus missions? No bonus missions. Mount Vernon! So it's like actually Washington's ancestor. Okay, you're mine. Yo, dude. No? Maybe. Most importantly, do not be detected. I think the French may have a stronger army, but I think the Royal Navy could turn the tide. How so? The Navy could attack all. <laughs> Okay. How do I get that? You expect any sane man to believe you? Yeah. That's a bad guy. Shooter. Yeah, we have a shooter.
Oh, still visible. Hmm. Your vicious murderer. Uh, it's debatable. Who like to be called assassins? No need for being ornery Slightly more respectable. I should probably take care of the shooter too. Yeah, I'll hide you in the bush. Okay, clear the way. I'll go. Move, 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 move. Packages over there. That's a brute. And I can climb this thing. Hold that. I can just get rid of both of them easily. We're gonna see. And I can't aim more bomb. up in the water in the water are you coming this way you there he's put for the door now nah, damn it this a rifle what's so special about the rifle you there stay where you are <laughs> what can that be it makes no sound cool keep it thanks for the present master washington now we've got darts, air rifle. Nice. Efficient silent range weapon which can be used to sleep or berserk darts as well as grenades and firecrackers. Cool. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Okay, so berserk darts. Right. Berserk four. Whoa, that's nice. Cool. Oh, he's still <laughs> arriving in pain. No, loot.
And the cargo. Climbing the tower. What if you were the one being those up? I've got a shot. Nice shot. Then shoot! Not enough of a good line. <laughs> that was cool. No? No coming here? Fine. I'll come to you. Climb this. Arranged marriage. 1748 Grandmaster Birch, my informants in Port au Prince told me that the McCandles shares your interest in relics from the first civilization. He collects them. There were whispers of something called the Heart of the Brotherhood, a fragment of a larger relic that was stolen by a slave woman named Jeanne who had tight members of this brotherhood. Jean was sold to a merchant last year, but as luck would have it, that merchant is Philippe Olivier de Grand Prix, who owns a rival business company here in New Orleans. If you can use your influence in the world of economics to dampen his financial prospects, I believe that I can secure a relationship through marriage and the promise of renewed stability in his business. As always, I appreciate your faith in me. May the Father of Understanding guide you, Madeleine de Lizelle. Oh, the bitch. John Washington, great-grandfather to Lawrence and George, bought the land in 1674 with his friend Nicholas Spencer. The acreage was then referred to by its native name of Espoisson. In 1690, the heirs of Washington and Spencer split the land, leaving the Washingtons with the portion that ran along the Little Hunting Creek. Lawrence Washington's father, Augustine, renamed it Little Hunting Creek. In 1738, Lawrence returned from school in England and began to oversee the family's tobacco plantation. When he inherited the estate, he renamed it Mount Vernon in honor of his Vice Admiral Edward Vernon, who was his commanding officer in the Royal Navy. When his half-brother George Washington inherited the property, he kept the name. Interesting. So, how, how is your day? I need to find out where this is coming from. It's coming from behind that shed. Okay, uh, it's not here, it's over there somewhere. Don't get detected in the garden party. Got it. I don't know. Security is all tight. The captain brought in more men. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. No, first I worry about the fireworks. I need to see. That's very disappointing. 
extremely disappointing. At least there was an outhouse. Okay. Music is also very loud. There we go. Brother, are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. Who the hell is that guy? <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith. Are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <coughs> oh, man, you don't look so good. Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Lawrence Washington, born 1718, died 1752. Lawrence Washington was born in Virginia and was a mentor of sorts of his more famous half-brother George Washington. Lawrence was educated in England, where he was recruited into the Templar Order by Grand Master Reginald Birch. Lawrence returned to Virginia in 1738 to oversee his father's plantation on the Potomac River and also to seek out precursor relics. In 1739, the British Parliament created an infantry for its American colonies to be used in their conflict against Spain in the West Indies. Lawrence Washington arrived in Jamaica in 1741 and saw action in expeditions against Cartagena, New Granada, Cuba, and Panama. Many casualties in these conflicts were the results of disease rather than violence because he arrived in the tropics early. He managed to survive fevers that decimated the other American colonists. Upon his return to the American colonies, Washington became a militia commander at the rank of major. Washington married Anne Fairfax in 1743. In 1747, he, his father-in-law, and other prominent businessmen began to work together with the goal of opening trade to the American interior. Lawrence was diagnosed with tuberculosis and traveled to Barbados with his younger brother George in an attempt to help his health. George caught a minor case of smallpox and Lawrence used the opportunity to travel to Port-au-Prince on Templar business. Lawrence returned to his Mount Vernon home in July 1752 where he died from his disease. His younger brother, George, eventually inherited and took over management of the Mount Vernon plantation. And I want one more target. Yes, indeed, it's splendid. Yes, indeed. been looking rather pale, though. Ah, no good, no good. Uh, reload. Last checkpoint. She did can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. That was a sleep dart. This is a berserk dart. No, climb the thing. Climb the thing. Uh. 
on. Okay. Okay. And there's another one over there. And another one over there. And the shooter on the roof. Sheesh. Can't shoot from here. Hello, hello, hello. Blended. God damn it. Uh. Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Oh shit, no. Oh shit. How about you? Stop. Okay. Yeah, supposed to kill them when it's done. Come on, do something incriminating. Okay, he's done. Let's take out the shooter. Come here. They're coming here. I never thought I'd see such a spectacle in my lifetime. Yes, they're coming here. Too late. 
Assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> <sighs> But my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here... <coughs> ...has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you... ...for making my end a quick one. Does it look too quick? And thank you... ...for revealing your master plan... ...you scheming snake. Slow bombs. Yeah. Damn it. Better hurry. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Oh, the mulligan is on the other side. Got a line on it. Is that a shit mortar? That's not sporting. Wait, open the chest. Open the chest. Now, thank you. Where did they come from? Stand where you are. That's not a motor, that's fun cannons. Oh, shit, really? Haven't noticed. God damn it. <sighs> God damn it. I better hurry. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. You get back here. Damn it. Try to get past me, I'll spill your brain. Sheesh, come on. That's a shit mortar! That's not sporting! <laughs> not sporting. He'll not pass me! <laughs> Get out! You're in my way! Yeah. Clear the way! <laughs> Get out! You're in my way! Come on! Report. What's your status? Climb, dammit, climb! Let out some Move, move, move. Take it here. Douse the royals the tops. Come on, move it right faster. Okay, we're almost out. They're too strong for us. They're Royal Navy, sir. They have help, Captain. Brace. Come on, turn to the ship. What did you say? Here it comes. They're firing, sir. Oh, there are a lot of mines here. Lawrence Washington is dead. Whew. He looked disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. Yeah. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. 
Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. We'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. Let go. Mission complete. Cut. No, I wanted that fragment. Halcyon days. That's the achievement. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? Stop calling me numbskull! It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye! I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. They're coming after us, sir! Schooner! Royal Navy! Fire! You need to be on the road, sir! Ready to Brace! Fight. We're headed right into them! That's the point! Fire! I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Nice throw, man. Bring him in for a silly kiss. Hang on, that could be important. Okay. Where is the powder? I need another pistol. Hang on. Scream at the top of your lungs. I need some repairs. The Chasseur has a lead on the box, but to meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. Hmm. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what did he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adewali about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words. Or images. Like a magic lantern. Hmm. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. You see, opinions like that... Give a man a reputation for wisdom. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. 
The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But <sighs> that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. <laughs> Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions uh -huh. like that give a man an entirely different reputation. Yeah. Okay, let's land this thing and then I gotta wrap it up. Oh, that's ice. Can we sail through ice? Ah, you must have an icebreaker. Uh, ooh. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. Han Chevalier. Ah, it's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Blues up! These are sticks! What is the girl for? Uh huh. Uh, locations. While ancient Norse settlements have been found in Newfoundland and other parts of North America, it was not until Christopher Colombo's famous voyage in 1492 that there was any significant contact across the Atlantic Ocean. The European powers raced to colonize the Americas. Abstergo insists on spelling Christopher Columbus like that. It has something to do with Subject 17, but beyond that, I don't know. It's maddening. The North Atlantic, with its colder climate, made this process difficult, the cold winters as well as the resistance of indigenous people resulted in the failure of many early European settlements. By the 18th century, however, colonies were well established and trading routes across the ocean were common. Even so, the most northerly regions were still relatively unexplored, with ice blocking the way of even the most adventurous explorers. Get them along! That's all Yeah, let me sink it. And then I'll wrap it up. There is one viewpoint. What the hell, man? What the hell? Okay. Up this thing. Up this thing. Hmm. Fine, I'll do this first. No. What? Why do you have to be like that? Please accept my most sincere thanks. Sir. Okay, a viewpoint. This is not a viewpoint, but it's on the way to a viewpoint. How the hell am I supposed to reach that? Getting that right now. 
Hang on a moment. This is where I have to end, and excuse me, my, my program is still making a mess of things for some reason, even though I told it to not to borderless window. In any case, that'll be the end for now. Continue again next tomorrow, same time, same channel. Uh, actually, tomorrow's Friday, so probably later in the day, towards noon. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll appreciate you coming on next time. See you next time. Stay good. Have fun. I just have to prepare for my interview.